I am State Senator Mike McDonald. We've heard a lot of concerns from our constituents about the impact that this indoor dining ban has had on our local restaurants. We want to hear from them, we want to hear their stories, we want to hear what life was like before the pandemic and what life is like for them now. I'll give you a little history about this place. We have uh, three banquet halls here, three banquet rooms, and I did have a great relationship with all the funeral homes in the area. Uh, we, so we do a lot of funerals, we do a lot of baby showers, we do a lot of bridal showers, uh, weddings, you know. Uh, so we've built up that business quite a bit. So Jim, this is one of your beautiful banquet facilities. Normally this, I'm assuming, would be packed, right? Yes. We were, at one time, we were booked six to eight months out. Six to eight, six to eight months. Yep. And, you know, try to squeeze dates here and there. Um, first of all, in 2020, we lost our million foreign sales. We lost Mother's Day. We lost Easter Sunday. We lost uh, Thanksgiving. We lost, and those are big days. I used to do 10 to 15 banquets a week. We canceled. This is my cancellation file for 2020 through now. 300. This is real. This is all canceled. 100, look at the dates. Pick banquets. one. 4 18 20, 20. Okay. Um, 10 17 20. Uh, 327 20. What does what this represent in losses, this, this stack here of, of canceled? 50% uh, of our business. On a Friday night, we would be packed. The, the restaurant would be full. We would have a line at the door, you know, with a wait. Um, my biggest problem here was parking. Uh, we had to shut down in March until June, you know, three, four months. We canceled, we canceled so far since March of last year till now 337 banquets. And then when we did open at 50%, um, it wasn't the same. You know, people are still afraid to come out. What is a restaurant owner? What, what's your, what goes through your mind there? It's, uh, it's uh, what's it saying? They say, do as I do, do as I say, not as I do. Yeah. You know, and that's what they want us to do. Uh, and, but it's a sad situation, though, from what we're, what we're facing. You know, what our governor has done, or what, what this state has done for us, it's killed us. We have, we've lost, the value of the business has gone down extremely. You can't sell a restaurant now. Uh, the value of the real estate, that's gone down. You know, uh, and it, it, it hurt us a lot. And it's not just us. We were talking about it this morning. It's not just us. It's my produce guy. It's my meat guy. It's my the Pepsi driver, the beer drivers. All these guys are, you know, uh, it's it's bad. You open up at 25% right now. I still have to pay my gas bill. I have to heat the place whether there's 25% people here or we have we're open at 100%. I still have to have a staff. I still have to have a bartender. I still have to have, you know, uh, uh, I can't pay these people 25%. If they're going to put us out of business, pay us. Yeah.